Good morning. Today is Friday, June 25th, and we are going to give you another update. This is Pastor Philomena with Second Presbyterian Church, and we will tell you what's going on. So what's going what's on happening? is June is going too fast. It's almost the end of June, but there are something exciting happening here. We formed the pastor nominating committee and they were elected and prayed over last Sunday. So their work, it's about to begin. What needs to happen is Presbytery will send someone to come and train the pastor nominating committee or the PNC in the short words. Once the training is completed, then they will begin to fill the form, what is called ministry information form. It used to be called church information form. Now it's ministry information form. It's like an application forms that um, those who are looking for a church or the pastors who are looking for a church to come and serve will see um, all the needed information, whether this will match what they are looking for, and so that is what we have next step. Right. Get, them tr yeah. get the pastor nominating committee trained, and then the forms will be filled, ready to be approved by presbytery. So once it's done, then the presbytery will have a copy, and once they approve, um, it will be posted on the Presbyterian website. It's called Church Leadership Connection. And people, um, I, I shouldn't say people, but the pastors who are looking for a call will be matched with their information, what is called personal information form, and then um, the church will get a list of those who have been matched. So this is where we are right now. Right. Mm -hmm. So in true Presbyterian fashion, our acronym, our Pastor Nominating Committee, PNC. You're going to hear PNC a lot, yes. and that's what the PNC is. That's the group of people who are going to look for a pastor for this congregation. They're filling out this ministry information Mission form, form known as an MIF. Yep, right. And that information is coming from the info that was on our mission study, where we right. talked to the congregation. Mm -hmm. We got feedback from the congregation on what we were looking for, where we were going, where mm -hmm. we've been. So that's how that process is now moving forward. Yes, so. so now they have all the information that they need. They need some training and they need your prayers. So don't forget that as you think about the pastor nominating committee or PNC filling the MIF, the ministry information form, they also need your prayers and your support because it is a long process of filling the mm -hmm. forms and not only that, then it needs to go back to the presbytery to make sure we have everything that we need in order to post it on the yeah. data website for the national offices. So it won't be a quick process. Yeah. It is not. It is a discernment process. When you rush through it, you don't want to do that. You want to take that right. time. Every step is very, very important, and it's prayerfully um, taken care of mm -hmm. to allow the Holy yeah. Spirit to help to guide in calling the right pastor for this church. So we're going to take our time so we can call the, the right pastor. Right, yep. yes. So. Um, some of you may be wondering what happened to our outdoor worship. Well, um, the weather was hot, and um, we took that into consideration, and that is why we have come back indoors. The goal is to still be able to have an evening worship um, in July um, with a picnic. So um, we will still do that. Um, keep us posted. If you have ways in which you can help, contact Billy Bauer, who is coordinating the picnic for July 18th, mm -hmm. I believe. Yes. So we don't have a lot of details yet on that picnic. But we don't. Kind of keep that date open. Right. In the meantime, worship will be indoors every Sunday, right. 930. Yes. Regular time. Yes. Indoors. Yes. Um, we will start singing one hymn towards okay. the end. 
Uh, many, we all have missed not being able to sing on Sunday worship and participate and make us feel like we are at worship. We, because of the new lifting from the state um, of Michigan Health Department, we are able to take baby steps. And so beginning this coming Sunday, um, we will sing one of the last hymns. So gradually we'll get to um, our new normal. So be patient with us uh, as we try to get there. Um, don't forget to send us your questions and don't forget to let us know anything else that we might be able to talk about. Um, we may not be doing it every Friday now um, since it's summer. So expect this every other um, Friday we will give you an update. So the mission committee is still collecting school supplies. Yes. You mm -hmm. can put those on the table in the hallway if you come to worship or, or call yeah. the church ahead of time if you want to drop by and make sure someone's here. Right. Um, the church office is open from 9.30 to 4 p.m. So if you, are able, if you need to come here, um, keep those times in mind. Mm -hmm. Monday through Thursday, 9.30 to 4 p.m. Um, the church, somebody's here at the church. Um, it might be locked, just call, and uh, we'll be there to open it for you. Anything else we're missing? I think that pretty much does it. Yeah, so remember the school supplies are being collected throughout the summer um, to get ready for the new school year um, in September or August. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Towards so the end there. Towards yeah. the end. So thank you for being with us this Friday. We look forward in hearing from you and seeing you at worship on Sunday morning at 930. Have a safe 4th of July if we don't hear talk to you before then. Oh, don't celebrate too much. Happy so. 4th. Take care. We'll see you in a few weeks. Stay blessed.